We gonna lead that horse to water, but we not gonna make them drink, okay? That's not your cue to go in, swoop in and save the day. Go ahead and sit down somewhere. And that feels good to me. Hey everyone, I'm Shakoya D and welcome to my bubble. This channel is for black women who are on their self-love journey and are learning to take off their superwoman capes and put themselves first. My bubble is my safe space to express myself as I inspire you to do the same. This is Love the Creative Black Woman, a series where we self-care through crafting as we connect on our self-love journey together. Now, I hope y'all haven't been out there fixing and helping everything and everybody. I hope that you have been taking time for yourself. We have been talking about being Mr. Fix-It or I guess Mrs. Fix-It. We've been talking about being Mrs. Fix-It, okay? Out there saving the world and not taking off that superwoman capes. That's what we've been talking about. And this week I thought that we could go over some ways that maybe we can support versus saving the world or fixing everything. So like I said, we've been talking about fixing everything, how everything is not ours to fix. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hard pill for me to swallow because it's been such a, a huge part of what I consider my identity to be. I think that a part of going into support mode versus staying in that aspect of superwoman mode. So instead of helping everybody to the detriment of yourself or feeling like you need to save the entire world. Let's talk about some ways that you can show up and just support people, support your friends, support your family, even when you feel like, all right, I can't, I want to help. I want to help, I want to fix it. But you know that this is something that that person needs to ex um, experience and go through on their own. I know that that is something that can be difficult. And if you're in the habit of fixing things, sometimes you don't even pause long enough to even realize that that's what's happening or that's the type of situation that it is. So I would say the first step to supporting versus saving would literally be to stop for a second after the question is asked, take a deep breath, like inhale, exhale, okay? Pause your brain for a moment. Don't just immediately jump in because I know I used to do that all the time. Take a moment to breathe and then listen fully. Ask clarifying questions and maybe, all right, let's say you can't help. Or let's say they didn't actually ask for help. Let's start there because sometimes they don't ask for help. We just be like, I know I can help. So I'm going to go ahead and step in. And some people don't want that. That's what I had to learn. Some people don't want that. And some people don't need that because that becomes a habit. So step one, we're going to take a deep breath. Step two, they didn't ask for help. So we're just going to ask a clarifying question right? Because you can still process in your mind, how can I support? If you want to support, if you want to help, all right, then let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's say, like I mentioned a few episodes ago, they need a dentist. They have a toothache. So they're talking to you about that. They tooth been hurting for weeks. They don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. And they called you because they just wanted to talk to you about it. And you know, maybe they don't know a dentist or the dentist that they normally go to wasn't able to help them or they're closed or whatever. All right, let's think about, let's think about ways that we can assist, not ways that we can solve, okay? So from here, how can we assist? Maybe you know a good dentist. Maybe your friend is a dentist. Maybe you know where the local, what is it, emergency medical center is, and maybe they may be able to assist or whatever. Maybe, maybe you know a specialist for their exact issue. So what you can do is provide a phone number, right? You don't call, don't call. You don't call and set up the appointment, okay? They, they call and set up the appointment. You let them decide if they even want to go with that dentist. So you provide the information and they can go from there. 
that is one way that you can support is providing information because I guess it's like the same thing of like you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink I think supporting them is letting them know that I do have water over here I have water it's open to you it's available to you if you would like to get it I can tell you the exact instructions or directions to get to the water but it is up to you to go to the water if you thirsty you got to be the one that drink I can't I can't force feed you I can't force feed you so we gonna get them the information all right now what does that do that leaves you open like your schedule is still open it doesn't force you to pick up the load of the responsibility of it as a friend a family member a sibling you can talk to them later and check in to see if maybe like hey did you ever reach out to the dentist I recommended to you how's your tooth feeling you could always do that but if they didn't reach out that's on them you can ask them why you can you know encourage them to reach out if they're still in pain but after that, that's up to them. They grown. Now, if it's like niece or nephew, like they're a kid, then of course, like, I mean, you wanna, hey, talk to their parent, or if you're their guardian, you wanna make the phone call for them and make the appointment. But if this is another adult that is having this issue with their tooth, it's their responsibility to call and set up that appointment. And even if they didn't call, that's not your cue to go in, to swoop in and save the day. That was never the cue, okay? So, providing the information and checking up on them. That's number two, a quick checkup, okay? Oh wait, so that's not number two, that's three. So number one is we're gonna take a deep breath. So, inhale, exhale, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna pause for a second. Number two way is to go ahead and provide the information provide the information but it is up to them to decide if they're going to use it because who knows they might decide all right this sounds good but I'm going to go with my regular dentist even though I don't like them or they're not available or whatever some people just want to go with what they're familiar with and it's okay it's not your responsibility to make them go with your option if they want to go with who's familiar because maybe their dentist already knows whatever prior issues they've been having, then that is okay. That's great, actually, because at least they made a decision without you. Like, you didn't have to make a decision for them. So, one, we're going to breathe. Two, we're going to provide the information. You could also say, two is asking clarifying questions because you want to assess the needs. So, we're going to backtrack. Number one, we're going to breathe. Number two, we're going to ask clarifying questions. We're going to see like, what do they actually need? What are they looking for? Are they even asking me a question, right? Because they might not be asking you anything as we already established in this scenario. Number three is going to be, we provide the information. We're going to lead that horse to water, but we're not going to make them drink. Okay. That's number three. And number four. What did I say number four was? <laughs> oh, we're going to check up on them. Number four is we are checking up on them. So we're going to check in, make sure that they're good. Maybe ask if they use the information that you provided. But honestly, you don't even have to ask if they use the information that you provided. Half the time, you're going to know. Because either they're going to tell you or they're either going to tell you that yes or no, they didn't reach out to them. Either they'll say yet or they decide to go with a different option or you'll know because their tooth is still hurting and they decided they're not going to do anything because that happens too and at the end of the day that's their decision <laughs> and it's not your problem to fix like I said you can encourage them to make the appointment because you don't want to see them in pain but it is always up to them whether or not they're going to make the appointment. But that is four ways. And then from there, step five is going to be drink some water, mind your business. That's what step five is going to be, guys. <laughs> After you've done all of that, 
You did the things, you breathed, you asked clarifying questions, you provided the information that could help them out, you provided them with resources, you checked up on them. So now, go ahead and sit down somewhere. Go ahead and sit down somewhere and relax. You did your part in supporting them. So that is five ways to actually support. That is the our five step plan to supporting versus saving. I like that. Okay, I just came up with that. I I actually might I might expand on that a little bit. I really like that. That's going to be that is going to be our our thing, okay? All my super women out there, we got our support checklist now. We have our support checklist. So I want to see y'all out here, out here saving, saving, saving when you need to be supporting, supporting, supporting. And I think what we're going to do is probably dive a little bit deeper. Maybe I'll do another scenario in another episode of how we can support versus just be out here saving everybody. Dear black woman, I love y'all. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, dear black woman, you are amazing. You can move mountains, but sometimes you gotta let somebody else move their own mountains, sis. You can't be the one moving all the mountains because everybody else has to learn their superpowers too. We just learned our five step support system checklist and I hope that you use it. Use it to your advantage, use it for your peace of mind, and also use it to take care of yourself. Checking in with yourself is important. Supporting people is important, and also not to the detriment of yourself. We are learning as superwomen to truly use our superpowers. Yes, we have used our super strength. We have used our super problem solving skills. We have been the go-to people that everyone calls on all the time. And yes, we may have had fun <laughs> and we may have been tired. <laughs> it may be exhausting or you may not even realize that you are running out of steam, but make sure you are paying attention to yourself and make sure you are paying attention to those around you. Asking clarifying questions to find out, is this a situation where you actually need my help? Are you asking me for help or are you just asking me to listen? Do I have resources that could support you? And also, will me doing this or immersing myself in whatever problem solving mode I decide to go into, will this be to my benefit or to my detriment? And that can mean whatever you want it to mean. Because at the end of the day, even if it's not costing you financial resources, it is costing you your time. Do you have the time to spare? Do you have the time to assist? Is this cutting into your family time or your me time or your business time or your work time? Is this cutting into your music time, your creative time? Is it cutting into your self-love moment? You have to think about these things. And I'm actually adding that to the checklist. So it was five steps, now it's gonna be six because you gotta ask yourself those questions. It might be seven. We're gonna see once we finish this checklist. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself and that you are loving on yourself. Yes, you are a superwoman, but you deserve a break. Love the creative black woman. Thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me for another episode. If you identified with this episode, make sure you drop a flower bouquet emoji in the comments below. But also, let me know if y'all think of any other steps. Do you have a step that you could add to our support system checklist? Do you have like any thoughts or opinions or a scenario that you went through yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you like this episode, you are going to love the one that is linked somewhere on this screen. <laughs> Make sure you click it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.